What's going on ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm back with something different per se. Uh, I've been testing on some raid mechanics and I found one that I kind of enjoy. It's called the Dimorpha Bomb. Yep, it's exactly what you thought. We're just going to strap a little C4 charge to my buddy here. Carry him on my shoulder. We now have a C4 charge on a freaking Dimorphodon. See, a lot of people don't understand that this is actually really cool. Uh, the idea behind it would be I would be riding a Quetzal with Dimorphodons flying behind me with a C4 strapped to a couple of them. And say you get attacked by a Pteranodon. Well, now your Dimorphodons are going to be spinning around that one Pteranodon. You hit the button. That Pteranodon is dead. You don't believe me? Well, let's find out. So we're going to do attack my target. And we're just going to do something weird. Let's see. We're not going to do that. That's lame. Did, did you just attack him from my shoulder? Let's see. What can you fight to prove things? Not going to attack the Quetzal just yet. Find a down Pteranodon. You know what? Screw it. Where's... What? There we go. Alright, so you're down. Let's see if he'll go off to the Pteranodon if I can hit it. Yep. Change of plans. I can't hit shit. Uh, <laughs> to put in perspective, guys, I have not played with a bow. Just a bow. Like this against, like, enemies in a long time. Go, buddy. I probably have to whistle with you. Yep, it worked. So we just killed a level 5, I, I understand, but honestly, it was worth it. These C4 charges do a lot of damage. So we're going to test one on that little base right there that I, you know, constructed just for a raid tactic. I want to see if you can, say, attack target, strap a C4 to, you know, a Dimorphodon or 3. Tell them to go fly into the middle of a base and just kind of go crazy. So we're just going to strap one to this guy. You know, I'm going to whistle passive to all you guys. Right, I gotta get him out of range so we don't have a bunch of Dimorphodons flying in as I hit a little bit of a lag block. Alright, so you are now gonna be attack my target. Is that now a target? No. Hmm. Thought you could do something with the spyglass. Can I make that my target? There we go. Just gonna send him over. And then do damage. But say, like, I would throw him into, like, an opening or a wall. You know what I mean? And have mo multiples of these guys going in. And we'll put one right in the dead center for you guys to see. But it is a cool little thing I came up with. It's called the Dimorpha Bomb, is what I'm gonna call him. I do not know if anybody has done this before, but, you know, it seems smart at the time in my brain. So why the hell not? So we're going to have him fly, hopefully, directly in. Of course, you're ruining everything. Their Morphodons are evil, too, because they attack the rider they don't attack like the dinosaur so that's one of the reasons also like you'll have these things just as an ultimate trophy so let's see go buddy and presto look at that you can do some damage with a couple of these guys especially if you don't want to get close to a base you can just pump one of these guys up in health and hopefully fly it in I mean, Plan X could be a problem, but you could tell them to attack the Plan X. Fuck it. Alright, so we're going to get a few of these guys to test on my Air Force, because Air Force has long lived its duty. Let's see, you got one, you got one. Alright, guys. Come with me. Alright. 
All the strapped ones. Follow. I gotta make sure the strapped ones are with me or else I'm gonna blow up my entire supply over there of Dimorphodons. Also, guys, remember, Dimorphodons don't take a lot to tame. Like, not a lot at all. Alright, so we got Plant X turrets set up over on our Quetzal over there. Just as kind of like a test because he will fly away. So let's say you, you're sneaking up and you want to just go... Let's see if they can actually get in on it. Go, buddies, go. Oh, they're getting slowed down by the Plan X. Go. Alright, so we got a Dimorphodon battle. And we're just going to go... Did a shitload of damage to that Quetzal. Oh my god. It's actually pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> for my own good. Like, that that was actually a pretty good method. I mean, we wasted like 4C4 charges, but I mean... Who would attack a Quetzal like that? Oh god. I'm in god mode, so these guys aren't affecting me. And my supply is probably going to flip out now. No. No. Are they going directly for my supply? Like, who told them to do that? Alright, strap them all. Whistle neutral. Go, buddy. We did it. Look at that exactly what you want out of it though like the the implications of being able to use dimorphodons as a bomb is pretty sweet and i mean if you could really do this have a good day you could really mess up someone's day using dimorphodons <laughs> like you could use monkeys for god's sakes you can throw monkeys monkeys are crazy I mean, a lot of, like, Plan X turrets, you'll see, are standing on towers. You'll notice a lot of people put their Plan Xs on towers, and that's not always a good idea because monkeys will run right under those towers before those things even hit them. Especially if you have enough monkeys, and they're an easy tame as well if you have Dodo Kibble. Like, you have the implications. I'm going to love that word today, implication. And, of course, I'm trying to give myself food, and I'm forgetting the command in my head. Item... Num. But yeah, guys, just test it out. You know what I mean? Come up with cool ideas. I'll try them out on the video if you guys want to see them. Uh, I'm glad that you guys enjoy my little test series. Like, I understand the whole turtle C4 charge. You know, you can drop them in to destroy metal turrets and stuff, waste their ammo. But I'm like, I'm thinking for like, anti-air alone is pretty sweet. You're gonna have some crazy things going on. Especially if you're using C4 charges. So you guys, remember... Dimorpha bombs are a thing. You can throw them like a dart. Especially, say you're getting under under attack and you're on the back of a Quetzal, someone's riding one. Strap a C4 charge, just, you know, this random Dimorphodon that's on your back. Give it movement speed or something and just send it after the guy. Half the time, you'll kill the Quetzal. Half the time, you'll just kill the guy riding it, which both are a plus to me. I do not know how many to kill a Giga. I have not looked into how many of these it takes to kill a Giga. But maybe next episode we'll look into Giga C4ing and see if you can kill them with Dimorphodons. Oh, maybe I'll do it right now. Yep, guys, just give me a couple minutes. I'm going to, you know, cut right back and we'll be killing a Giga with Dimorphobombs. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And look at this. We got... Why does that sound like a Dimorphodon's following me? We have an unclaimed down over here. Counts as teamed. It's only level 3. But, you know what I mean, we're using level 1 Dimorphodons to do our little project here. And we're going to see if it's going to rage or even die. I put it on neutral before I unclaimed it, so it should stay neutral. And where's our little pretties? What did I do with my group? I had an awfully large group. Oh, there they are. Awfully large group. All right. So everybody got to get strapped. Just to make sure our little plan works. Put in perspective, I have 15 C4 charges, so... It may be a waste of resources. I don't know. I don't know what people count as killing gigas is worth. What do we use? 
All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. None of these little puppies. And we're going to set them all up. Make sure everybody's strapped. We're good. I mean, I could get more Dimorphodons. It's just a pain to get them. You know what I mean? You could have this following you, too. That's the crazy part. You know, if you had them in a lot of speed and everything, you'd be good. You'd be good with a good Dimorphodon pack behind you, especially if you're on a Pteranodon. They're good just defense alone for the fact that they can attack, you know, everything almost. They attack the rider. That's the best part of that whole thing. Alright, get in there, little pretties. And we raged it. Oh. That is actually a good ass idea. Alright, since we're in, you know, god mode. I can't plan on see four charges on this guy. Oh, we broke the game, it looks like. Yep. We broke the game. So yeah, we're just gonna check his health. Oh shit. We dropped it quite a quite a significant significant amount. And yeah guys, so that's been the Dimorpha bombs. I'm glad you guys stopped by. Remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you like the content. We have a lot of ARC videos. I think I'm up to almost 200 now. So anyways, guys, I've been Demo. Everyone have a wonderful night.